Okay, here we go. 2005 Subaru. Uh, symptoms I've been getting out of it. When you're going down the road, this is a standard, a five-speed, so it's a pretty nice little car. But when you put it in neutral, you know, driving down the road, whatever you're doing, uh, the idle would go up and down. It would go to 3,000, 4,000 RPM. You tap on the gas, it'd come down. And uh, it seemed like it would do that quite a bit. So I tried a few different things. Uh, nothing seemed to, you know, you know, putting sea foam in the gas, cleaning this, that, and the other thing. And uh, what I ended up doing was uh, on the gas pedal, uh, I think it's going bad, hard to believe. I mean, here's the gas pedal, right? Looks like this. I took it out of the car already. But what I would do was uh, just to verify that that was a problem. And this could be a neat little tip to debug something like this, is I would spray this, uh, you know, contact cleaner. You get this at the local uh, Advanced Auto or wherever. Anyway, I'd spray that right in this area, you know, right in this area here, while I was still in the car, of course, and the symptoms would go away. It would just be wonderful. So, anyway, just a neat little uh, trick. This is a fly-by-wire. You can see there's electrical connection here. I uh, haven't read too many problems with these. That's why I didn't want to get a new... Uh, gas pedal for a while because I thought maybe since I wasn't seeing too many problems with these on the internet that uh, maybe it was something else but anyway I got a new uh, gas pedal I'll throw it in so so what I usually do is uh, take the gas pedal and you know whatever offending part that I believe I got to get a new one and if I got to get it from the dealership uh, I'll take it to the dealership and you know compare that way I get the right one but for the most part you know you're giving a dealership your last eight VIN number you know last eight numbers of your VIN so you should have the right part but I did take it out first so you're not gonna see me taking this out in this video but it's probably just as well sometimes I think it's uh, even more helpful in these videos to, to see what the part looks like and get an idea of how it comes out so obviously this part you got a bolt hole here a bolt here right and you got this connector on here so it's underneath the uh, it's underneath uh, the steering or by the steering column underneath the dash. Um, it's really not a big deal to get the crazy thing out. But anyway, sometimes uh, you know I've seen I've know that myself. You you don't want to tear into something, but if you see what the thing looks like uh, after it comes out, you know it's a little easier to get it in your mind uh, how the thing does come apart. So anyway, that's what it looks like. Let me throw the thing back in there, um, and uh, it'll be fun. Okay, let's get it back in here. So you got two 12 millimeter nuts we got to get back in there. Uh, so you can see the connector right here, right? And you got a stud here and a stud up there. So this is uh, pretty easy. And I'm sure all Subarus are like this, but this is a Forester, so... Oops. Knocking the light around. Hardest thing is getting all the stuff in here while you're got a camera in here also so I'll just snug them up first Then I'll get my little wrench out here. This is just a short little wrench. You're nice for getting in small spaces. And last, we'll put the connector up there. Okay, you can hear the connector snap when it goes in place, so we should be good to go. So I'll uh, drive the car a while. A week or so and uh, then I'll post this video I just like to you know like I said it's the weirdest thing I've never seen a gas pedal go bad before so I'll make sure the car works fine then I'll post this video so if you see the video up that was the problem okay thanks for watching bye